Space in a Minute. I'm David, and this week we're talking about ARCO. So, posture and body mechanics. When you play with a bow, it's similar to when you're playing pizzicato. You want your shoulders to be relaxed, back and down. Good, normal, good posture. It needs to be slightly bent, your feet square, weight on evenly on both feet so that you have a secure stance. When you draw the string across the bow, as we said yesterday, the hair stays flat on the string for the most part. Uh, the bow will remain perpendicular to the string all the way through the stroke. And your body mechanics, your body, your posture stays the same. You, you want your body to be able to remain in a healthy posture all the time. Otherwise, you're going to end up with back problems. So that means the shoulder does not come forward and get contorted, pulled out of its uh, box. So to practice this, we're going to kill two birds with one stone. Four birds. And we're going to work on continuous bowing drill, which means essentially we're going to work on keeping the string vibrating, keeping an even volume and intonation with as little interruption in the sound as possible. Watch the string vibrate uh, to see that it doesn't stop, or you can just listen, or both. Essentially, you just want to spend some time doing this. Focus on your posture, keeping everything relaxed, and your bow grip, as we talked about yesterday, and keeping that, sh that string vibrating and keeping the body of the instrument resonating. That's really the most important thing. Once you get the hang of that, focus on specific areas of the bow, the area near the frog, the area in the middle of the bow, and the area near the tip. Again, keeping the sound going with an even constant tone and pitch and volume without any breaks in the sound as you change. That should occupy you for a while. I still do that drill. Um, that's about it for today. Tomorrow we'll move on to attack. So, hope this has been helpful for you. If so, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, have a good practice.